Insufficient air quality in crowded urban areas poses serious environmental problems. Photocatalytic construction materials are an innovative and very promising approach to improving the quality of the air we breathe. And they're already on the market, although not yet commercially accepted worldwide, due to consumer mistrust of the results, among other reasons. Experiments show these products to be effective on the laboratory scale, but uncertainties remain around their full-scale performance. How effective are they in real applications? How long does the effect last? Are there undesirable side effects? Such mistrust necessitates a scale-up tool to ensure that the photocatalytic efficiency and properties of the products installed conform to magnitude and duration criteria with no undesirable side effects. Enter Life Photoscaling, a project that aims to serve the industry, government and society at large. The project's consortium's three public institutional members are the Eduardo Torroja Institute for Construction Science, a national research council body, the Technical University of Madrid's School of Civil Engineering and Madrid City Council. Two pilot plant scale platforms lie at the core of the project. Fitted with market photocatalytic products selected by public tendering, they were built at two sites in the region of Madrid with different environments. A series of product aging tests was designed for natural as well as accelerated conditions, along with two prototypes to measure photocatalytic activity in situ and simulate traffic generated friction. Along with two prototypes to measure photocatalytic activity in situ and simulate traffic generated friction. The findings were used to establish key product assessment parameter indicators. Photocatalytic efficiency under natural conditions, as measured with sensors, was modelled together with the environmental actions prevailing in each platform. The indicator results formulated from simple laboratory trials were then entered in the tool. That decision-making aid was also designed to perform life cycle analysis using the experimental and model findings for a street in Madrid where one of the products tested in the platforms was implemented. The results included both an overall and partial scores, indicator by indicator, along with sustainability findings based on life cycle analysis and an estimate of the mean percent of ground level nitrogen dioxide consumed per year. Environmental and socio-economic monitoring were conducted, as well as awareness campaigns on the relationship to air quality impacting small children in particular. Now we're going to go into deeper detail about what the project involved. Madrid's council organized a public tender for manufacturers wishing to furnish their products for the platforms. A total of 10 combinations of materials were selected, including emulsions, slurries and pavers, and two platforms were built on Serrano Galvache Street in Madrid and at Arganda del Rey on the outskirts. Each platform consisted in non-photocatalytic reference pavers and three test benches, one for natural aging, friction testing and rain or hosing water leaching. Both platforms were also fitted with a meteo station. Platform construction Application of the photocatalytic products The platforms were tested for three factors photocatalytic efficiency and duration in the presence of compounds such as nitrogen oxides, graffiti, chewing gum, motor oil, self-cleaning products. Intrinsic behaviour of the material freeze, thaw, ultrasound, pore size distribution, slip resistance, capillary absorption and possible undesirable side effects – titanium, nitrate leaching, nanoparticle emissions. On the grounds of those tests, key parameters were chosen to define photocatalytic efficiency, intrinsic behaviour and undesirable side effect indicators and sub-indicators. 
Simple laboratory methods were proposed to establish sub-indicator values consistent with the platform findings for items such as susceptibility to carbonation, for instance. The conformity criterion-based decision-making part of the tool was established by assigning values to ranges of results and significant factors to indicators and sub-indicators. One of the products was installed on a street in Madrid. Parallel monitoring was conducted to measure efficiency under natural conditions for nitrogen oxides. While a model developed for processes associated with atmospheric events was applied to the specific conditions prevailing in the street. One of the platform materials was applied and assessed on Madrid's José Antonio de Armona Street and compared to mirror image Bernardino Obregón Street. 4,200 square metres of existing pavement, carriage and walkways. Poor sampling before and after application. Effect on pavement macro texture and slickness. Passive tube NO2 measurement campaigns. Installation of two market gas sensors to measure CO, NO, NO2 and O3 at ground level on each street. Installation of a compact NOx and O3 gas analyzer. Installation of a runoff water station for continuous monitoring of the characteristics of the rain or hosing water emptying into the sewer system. Nanoparticle emission tests on walk and carriageways using the Temis 1000 prototype developed. Street hosing and pre- and post-cleaning measurements, NOx, NBT, colorimetric, nanoparticle testing. Environmental measuring for nanoparticles on treated and adjacent streets. Several laboratory techniques were deployed to monitor photocatalytic activity over time in the sample cores taken in situ with the prototype developed. The project findings include proven reduction of ground level pollution in the pilot areas, validation of the technology in prototypes, development of a database and material properties and classification for future updating, establishment of laboratory tests to determine key parameters in photocatalytic processes, nitrogen dioxide reduction modeling under environmental conditions, all were the outcome of a wholly pioneering support tool, the Photoscaling Decision Maker, designed to ensure the products installed meet conformity criteria. For a better world. www.life-photoscaling.eu Life 13 ENV slash ES 001221 Project funded by the European Commission's LIFE programme.